Okay, now, you had hop horn bean last week, right? The first thing I want you to do, even though they're like falling off, feel this leaf. Give that a little feel. A hop horn bean was really, really fuzzy. This is not. This is really, really waxy and smooth. Waxy smooth that could be from the blade. Basically, blade was leaf. So, they're on there. That could be something you could use while they're, so they're rapidly falling. But these buds do, on the edge of every scale, they sort of have a light edge to them. Yesterday, before I said anything, someone said, Zebra stripe? Like, yeah, yeah kind of. Every little, you can see every little line because the edge of the scale is uh, lighter in color. You see what I'm talking about? So it'll be brown with a lighter brown edge, like a tan edge, on the edge of the scale. So you have these little lines all over. That's not these lines. These are vertical grooves on each scale. I'm talking about these little lines where I drew the individual scales. They're light in color on them. Something probably even better than that is to pull off a bud. If you roll that bud between your fingers, you should notice that it's square. You'll feel it flopping. And there's a lot of stuff that's alternate and has a leaf shift like this. You should be thinking that. Are you? You should be. So you need to do stuff. Okay, so you're like totally lost, right? So, it's not poison ivy. Chew it. Right? No taste. No ch it's not cherry of any type. No winter green. No sweet birch. Right? So you can eliminate a bunch of stuff. Right? Even though it's looking like superficially like a lot of stuff. Always do other things. Once you know it's not poison ivy. And make sure you feel the leaf. Look at the bud really close. And, and tasting it is a decent thing because maybe when you taste it, you have a eureka moment. What do you notice as you go around the branches and the trunk? Even the, even the whole trunk at the bottom. You notice anything odd? It twists. Here I drew this little picture yesterday. If you were to cut that stump, it wouldn't be round. It would look probably something like that. Fluted, wavy. And this thing is very often known as muscle wood. And you can use that. It's a little tree. This is a really big one. You're not going to see too many bigger ones. It's a very large one. But then, so is hawthorn being a small tree. Okay. And they do grow in the same places. Here's this little green leafy thing right here. And it kind of has three lobes that kind of make it look like a little bit like a maple leaf. And they hang in a cluster downward. And right up in the end of the leaf, there's a little, about the size of a popcorn kernel seed, kind of lo loosely folded in there. And they do fly like a maple samara. But it's a very odd, you find that, you know, that's real indicative of it.